guys, a couple of weeks ago I posted that I was going to do a, a quick DIY video on making your own rose hip oil. Now, there's a lot of buzz about this because, believe it or not, one of these little berries, I mean, and they're tiny, they weren't much bigger when they were wet. Now they've dried them for a couple weeks. Um, one of these little berries has the equivalent vitamin C to about, I can't even remember what this, what it was, like 20 oranges or something. So they're really, really packed with nutrition. And we are going to try and extract some of that in an infusion. So I've got my rosehip berries. I've got a mason jar. This is a one liter jar. I've got these... Um, these are actually vitamin C capsules, and I like to put that in there because they're really great for the skin. Uh, here's the lid for my mason jar as well, right here. You want it clean and sterilized. You want to sterilize the jar, which I do, uh, in a water bath. I've already done all of that. And uh, here we're ready to go. So what you do is you fill the jar up about three quarters of the way. And I'm actually just going, oh, yeah, you can see it a little bit. <clears throat> you want to fill the jar up, like I said, three quarters of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're actually just going to go ahead and we are going to, let me use the spoon here. Um, we're going to go ahead and pour the olive oil in. So... Imagine that if there's the equivalent of 20 oranges in one of these little berries. You can just imagine how much of a vitamin C punch this is going to offer once it's done. Now, the thing is, you can leave this for four to six weeks in a warm, dry place outside of the sunlight. Uh, or you can actually speed up the process a little bit by turning on an oven to about 170 degrees and then just sort of for a day or two turning it on and off. So, you know, throughout the day maybe have it at 170 for a couple hours, turn it off, let the heat, remaining heat that's in there do its work. There we go. Is that about three quarters? That's about, that might even be a little bit more than three quarters. So you have your jar and it's filled up about three quarters. Now I'm going to pour this in, the oil, and I'm just going to, yeah, you can see that, and I'm just going to top it up. All right, look at that. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Now, I waited so long for the berries to dry because the last thing you want is any kind of moisture in this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? It's kind of bubbling. I think I'm going to pour a little bit more on, or in rather. And so there's my infusion. And to the infusion, I'm just going to add... I don't know if you saw how I did that. These are the vitamin E, and they're just in these little gel sort of capsules. I'm going to put a few in because I really like this stuff. I think it's good for scars, for any kind of marks. And that's exactly what people are using the rosehip oil for, is any kind of dark spots especially, and also acne. Um, you can use it for for wrinkles. Uh, you'll find it nowadays, if you go to the natural counter for cosmetics, that a lot of products have the rosehip oil in it for the vitamin C because, as you know, vitamin C is a great anti-ager. It, it increases collagen production, and it's just fabulous. So we'll have like sort of a dual packed punch here. And that's one, two, let's see here, one more. So in a one liter jar, I'm going to actually have, I think how many did I do? Four, four of them. Let's do another one. 
it does get a little bit oily here. So I've got, this is my fifth one. It doesn't want to squeeze out. There we go. Okay. So you can see in five little capsules or whatever they're called, you can actually get quite a bit of vitamin oil. And since it's all over my fingers, I'm just rubbing it into my hands. Why not? Now I stir this up. And I get my lid, which again, like I said, has been sterilized. I can just go ahead and put that on. And then, right on the top, I'm just gonna mark the date. Uh, I'm gonna mark the date anyway. But the thing is with this is that, oh, it's going out of focus. The thing is with this is that, uh, we, like I was saying earlier, we can speed it up by putting it in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna Go ahead and turn my oven on to 170. I'm going to uh, alternate on and off for a couple of days. And in a couple of days, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to do a wonderful facial oil. And hopefully, the reason I used olive oil, hopefully, uh, a wonderful rose hip facial soap. That's the one I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to. So thanks for dropping by. Please like me and leave some comments and visit me on Etsy. You can buy some natural organic skincare and cosmetics right through the shop at www.ecoluxcosmetics.etsy.com. Have a great day and see you guys soon.